again in Chicago for more on the Brandon Buckingham, Bloodhound Q50, and Skrilla shot in Chicago. They say the road got a little bit risky for them. Let's get deeper into this craziness, no diddy. The violent conflict involving Chicago rapper Q50, Philly rapper Skrilla, and YouTuber Brandon Buckingham continues to shed light on the complex and often deadly dynamics of Chicago's drill music scene. The incident that left Q50 injured, shot in the hand, and Buckingham's cameraman, grazed, in the neck and head area, while filming a video, demonstrates how real-life violence intersects with the music and documentation of street injuries are not just symbolic of the ongoing tension. They highlight the very real consequences of these rivalries and conflicts. Q50, who has increasingly gained attention since the loss of his close friends, Bloodhound Lord Jeff and El Show found himself in the center of this recent altercation. After losing these two individuals in the span of a month, Q50 turned to music as an outlet, using his lyrics to reflect the violence and tragedy surrounding him. His songs, often filled with references to street wars and claims of having eight bodies, provide a raw look into the life he lives. However, the cycle of violence that has claimed the lives of his friends continues to follow him, with the recent shooting being an extension of those earlier losses. The connection between this shooting and the death of Elsko is crucial. Allegedly, the same individuals responsible for Elsko's death were behind this attack. Q50 has made it clear that he believes justice has been served. Posting on Instagram after the incident that the shooter was struck in the head, insinuating that this was a form of retaliation. His Instagram posts following the shooting further emphasize the relentless nature of these street wars, where survival often means eliminating threats before they return. Brandon Buckingham, a Maryland-based content creator known for his raw and immersive documentation of urban neighborhoods, was caught in the middle of this violence while filming a music vlog in Chicago. His work, which often involves spending a day with rappers in dangerous environments, has garnered him a significant following on YouTube. However, his proximity to the dangerous world of drill music has not come without risks. His cameraman, not AMFK, I repeat not AMFK, was lucky to escape with minor injuries after being grazed in the head and neck. AMFK would go on to say this was not him, and talk to fans who posted his messages saying he is fine and was never in fact there. The actual camera has been described as a positive force within the team, and many have sent prayers for his recovery. This shooting occurred on the south side of Chicago, in the 7800 block of South Maryland Avenue, during the afternoon on September 25, 2024. While one victim took himself to the hospital after being shot in the foot, the second victim, shot in the head, remains in critical condition. Despite the ongoing investigation, no arrests have been made. However, Q50 social media posts suggest that the street justice system is already in play. With rumors of retaliation brewing, Chicago's drill scene has long been known for its ties to real-life street violence, with artists often using their music to recount their involvement in shootings, losses, and conflicts. The line between artistic expression and lived experience is thin, and for individuals like Q50, the music often mirrors the violent world they navigate daily. The deaths of his friends, combined with his own experiences of violence, continue to fuel his music and his public persona. His injury and defiant Instagram posts reflect his immersion in this world, where survival often means staying ahead of those who seek revenge. As the violence unfolds, it leaves behind not just physical injuries, but emotional and psychological scars for everyone involved. The loss of young lives, like Robert Boston and Monterio Williams, who were gunned down near their high school, serves as a grim reminder of the deep-rooted issues plaguing Chicago. These tragedies continue to ripple through the community, leaving families and friends devastated by the senseless acts of violence. In the case of Q50, his ability to survive multiple near-death experiences only deepens the complexity of his narrative as someone both a product and a participant in the cycle of violence that permeates Chicago's streets. For Brandon Buckingham and others who document this reality, the dangers are real and immediate. While they aim to shed light on these issues and tell the stories of those living in these environments, they too are at risk of becoming casualties in the ongoing war. The injuries sustained by who was first thought to be Chicago video man AMFK, but was actually Brandon Buckingham's cameraman during this filming session, 
highlight the precariousness of their work and the unpredictability of the world they document. The shooting involving Q50, Brandon Buckingham, and Skrilla underscores the grim reality of street violence and the drill music scene. It's a world where revenge is swift, and those involved are constantly navigating life-threatening situations. The incident not only resulted in injuries to Q50 and Buckingham's cameraman, but also served as a reminder of the constant threat of violence that looms over Chicago's streets. As these stories continue to unfold, they paint a bleak picture of a city caught in the crossfire of ongoing conflicts, where music, violence, and survival are linked. Skrilla later went to confirm that he was not hurt on Instagram with Big Op and Drench Gang saying that he ain't leaving Chicago anytime soon. The Philly zombie appears to be war-ready and down for the bloody chaos. They thought I got hit. What the fuck? How the fuck they try to bit me? I'm a beaver. Philly is full of gods of war word to Kratos. Stay locked with real oppas and subscribed for all the latest in the trenches. Stay dangerous.